Hi friends, it's Yuris here and this is Tattoo Shop Talk. That's that weekly web show where we do some sort of tips and tricks, tutorials, interviews and random chip chats that's connected to tattooing itself and the rest of the things happening in Tattoo Shop. And today I will show you my favorite and in my opinion cleanest setup with the classic Cheyan machine. So let's jump into it. Haha, you see, I have gloves on. It's not gonna be instruction about cross-contamination control just to avoid all that internet noise. Oh, you didn't wear gloves, so it means you know nothing. I have my gloves on. Follow your best intentions and avoid cross-contamination to best of your knowledge. Today, my Cheyenne, this type of Hawk, Thunder, whatever, machine setup. Usual thing would be one of these. And you see, you don't see this much. It's in a sterilization pouch. And now maybe you have for some reason realized that it's not a good idea to sterilize them or I can't clean all of it because I can't take it apart. So that's a bit sketchy. Or maybe you just don't want to damage your super expensive grip. Or you have realized that these plastic bits might not be the safest option to go. Or you just maybe decided to go all disposable because some studios do that. So what you get, that would be the disposable grips for this type of machine. And now we have two types of grips. So one would be from Elite and one would be from this brand, Ego. Obviously a needle and this is your imaginary station. My station is actually not on a bed, but let's pretend that it's the perfect station. This is all covered and we have our machine, grips, needle, some paper situation and some tape. And now I'll show you the way I set it up and in my opinion it works pretty clean. Maybe it involves a lot of packing and you'll be like oh that's too much. Dirty tattooing is also not a fun thing. So let's cover clip cord. We have the clip cord sleeve here. Here we go. Then we connect it to a machine connected. Then we take a grip of our choice. I'll take this one for no particular reason and I'm the kind of person who would put a paper towel over it just because I'm that kind of guy. So then we take tape of our choice, medical tape, masking tape, whatever is your situation to your best knowledge of how to do things clean. This is not necessary but this is my way of doing things and I'm sharing that with you so I do this. If the grip is fine just like that, I'm happy for you and you can do that. Now let's put a grip to a machine. And with this type of grip where you can easily adjust it here, it's no problem. We can lock this situation up. Tape of our choice. Unroll a bit. And then I would fold a little corner here. That's just to make it easier when you break it down. And close this part here. So it's taped to the, this part of the grip, which is still disposable part, but it's covered. And we put a needle in, make sure that no tape is in the way. It is on a bit weird angle, but with this grip it's no problem. We just put it the way we want it and make our awesome tattoo art. So this is how it looks. So this is it. We're done working. Obviously needle goes in a needle bin and then we can remove the cable and we can remove it while it's under the plastic. We can unplug it and sort of slide it over where it should be. And now we will take this thing apart. So this thing is easy to access because of that little corner situation that we left unfolded. So we can Take this part off and we hold the grip, take the plastic off, that all goes in a bin. This shouldn't be here. This should be all clean or if you use clean hand, dirty hand method or you have another glove on. But in my opinion it's been all taped up so we can hold it and unscrew this part. And then machine goes in a place where you want to spray it with some disinfectants and clean it. This all goes in the rubbish, gloves off and in my experience this is the cleanest way I have figured out talking with other people how to, to keep things clean, not to reuse things and to avoid messing with all the sterilization. And with these grips you can also sometimes see that some ink is spraying back in or when you change change cartridges they get dirty. And if you're following this channel for a while I'm not big fan of this particular invention as a grip. It works, it's comfortable, but in terms of hygiene I don't think it's the best option out there just because of the fact that you can't take it apart and other companies like FK Irons have their grips figured out a lot better. They still have all the clicky mechanisms, you can take them apart. 
have them physically clean, separately put in an autoclave, sterilized and use them. So I think with this type of machines, this is not the best option. Disposable would be the best option, at least in terms of hygiene and keeping things clean. I don't know why this company doesn't make their own disposable grips. Maybe there's already enough products on aftermarket. Maybe that would be admitting that there's something wrong with it. But for the pen type machines, I've seen that there are disposable options. So that's something to think about. And now question to you, what do you think about disposable grips? And what would be best way for you, how you work with this type of machines? What do you think about this grip? What do you think about disposable grips? And like always, there's like, dislike buttons, any recommendations, or if you want to point anything out so we can all learn from this, leave that in comment section. And don't be shy, you can always press that subscribe button, that always helps. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Goodbye!